Friday night baseball from the Bay Area and the Oakland Coliseum. Tonight, game two of this four-game weekend set between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Oakland A's. It's A's baseball coming up next. Josh Harrison. That and as you take a look at the splits no here, he's actually better Jump. against right handed pitching this Harrison. season. Yeah. Forge to one. third. Modi is up with it. In time to first, and there are two away. With that, let's look at the starting lineup for the hometown A's. Danny, who stands out to you? Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing Jay Hay, Josh Harrison do his thing. He doesn't let the pressure of the big moment get to him. I love watching this guy hit in clutch situations. It's like he takes a deep breath and everything stops in front of him. He plays like the Zen man. Stepping up now, number 78, ready to get his day the at the plate baseman. started right here. Number 78. First delivery to him on the way. Takes this the other way to right, but this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first out. And that brings up Chad Pender. And you can see his home road the right splits field. there. He has yeah. not fared very well in front of the home Pinter. crowd, oddly enough. The one two. The short hit hard. Torres is right there. And a good throw gets him one gone. All right, guys, here's the defensive alignment for the Toronto Blue Jays today. In the outfield, Jason Hayward, elite defender, takes amazing routes to the ball, unbelievable arm, a guy you need playing defense for you. Now the A's designated hitter, Luis Delgado. As you the get a look at his hitter. current righty-lefty splits entering play in Delgado. this one. Bottom of the second here with no score. One, one. Towards second. Scooped up on the backhand. And there's out number two. Stepping in for the Jays, number 78. number 78. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here comes the first pitch. Aye. That one bends into the zone. A strike on the breaking ball. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And he lays off upstairs, but it's ruled a strike, and he can't believe it. 1 and 2. A swing and a missile sent out to center field. And off the batter's eye for a home run. An impressive shot to dead center field. Two run shot to straightaway center. Number 35 now on the season as the Blue Jays take a two to nothing advantage. 
Yeah, and there's another reason the word around the league is this guy's a bona fide rookie of the year candidate. He seems to come up big, never shying away from the moment like a lot of rookies do. It's been a joy to watch him have so much success in just his first big league season. So one away here with the bases Third empty base, and the exciting three. middle infielder Franklin, Franklin. Barreto bats Bob next. Reto. A wind up and the 0 2 pitch. One, one, Short. one. Torres takes it in. And that's the second out. Next to bat for Toronto, number 78. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Yeah, Matt, that last one wasn't exactly a tape measure shot. But listen, a home run is a home run. I know a lot of pitchers, they call that a wall scraper in his last A-B. But listen, it counts as a home run nonetheless. And he fouls this one off. Fouled off. Oh, and two count. Here's the pitch. Now a breaking oh, no, ball runs right. in on him as he's got to get his hands out of the way on that pitch. That's a good pitch right there. But, you know, as a base stealer, when you're in the box like that, you want to protect your money makers, right? You don't want anything around your knees or your feet. So he was fortunate to get out of the way of that one. Hit on the ground for Simeon. It's short. Throw to first gets him. So the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That'll bring up the power hitter, Matt Olson. This one doesn't look the good so base. far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. Oh, and they get something oh, going. Oh, and the last thing you want to do is fall behind where yeah. you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. And he'll step on first himself for the out. All right, so time now for the Blue Jays' road to the show report as we see a couple of prospects performing at high levels in the upper minors. Stepping up to the plate, Luis Delgado. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Delgado. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. To the short. To his right, Torres. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. A's are gone in order. They're down 5 to 1. And that'll bring in Ramon Laureano. One for two. He singled and struck out in two trips. Bases are empty. One man out. Hit hard. Back up the middle. Torres has it. On to first. And there were two down. Into the box now, now number back. 78. Number He's 78. working on a one for three thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And that is off the wall in right field. He'll get it into second. And that is where the wheels pay off as he's able to make it into second with a hustle double. Well, when you're hitting the ball as well as he is, every time you swing the bat, you're thinking the ball's leaving the ballpark. He had a home run last time, and he almost had another one here. Nothing wrong with a double off the wall, though. Ready now, Jason Hayward, runner in scoring position with two gone. The 2-2. Lining toward center field. 
Loriano will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Danger averted following the two-out double. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Josh Harrison stands in, and Dan, he and his fellow top of the order now hitters haven't really Number offered one. much help for this lineup Jump. so far. No, your one, two, three guys are the ones you look to to generate a lot of action, and they just haven't been up to the task so far in this one. Still time for them to turn it around, though. We'll see if it happens. Oh, and one count, and the pitch. Line to the right side. And that's going to get down in front of Hayward for a base hit. And no sense risking anything here as the bases will be loaded now with still nobody out. Next up for the A's, Chad Pinder. Right He's got a hit in three 18. at bats to this point. Chad Pinder. Ran it in on him as this is bounced toward short. Torres gloves it. And there's one down now. Digging in to try it again. Chris Herman. And he's got a chance to bring Chris. in the winning run. The question is whether they'll even pitch to him. Bunks one, one, one. one with two strikes as he puts this one down. Sanchez fields it cleanly. And the throw goes to first, so the sacrifice works that time. Coming to the plate now, number 78. He's homered and doubled in four trips, so he's definitely been a factor. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the left field wall. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. He's not going to complain, but he was thinking what the rest of us were thinking when that left his bat. Home run number two. Didn't quite have enough, so he has to be content with a double. Here's Jason Hayward now. Hit now the ball pretty well in his last right at bat, field. but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, Maddie, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little all while. All right, you're up. And you're a up. big swing by Hayward, but this is on the ground to second. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. Blue Jays forced to settle for just the one. So now we'll see if these guys can get even in the bottom of inning number 10. The Blue Jays on top. Six to five. Striding in for Oakland, Luis Delgado, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. The 0 1 pitch. Two, to the two, left two. side. The throw to Defoe. Back to first, a double play, and with that, the ball game is over. Hey, it took them an extra frame to do it, but hey, they're not going to complain as they lock up a nice road victory here in 10 innings. And tonight's one-run game comes to an end 6-5 to five, the final. The Toronto Blue Jays wrap up their 20th road win of the season. Ryan Tapera gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Ken Giles wraps it up for the save, his 15th of the campaign. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.